The first weekend of the 2024 March Madness Tournament is wrapped up, and so today I'll be giving you guys our updated tournament predictions as we look forward to the Sweet 16. It was a chaotic first weekend. For the most part, the top teams are still in this tournament, you could say, besides Kentucky and Auburn. But what can you expect looking forward to the Sweet 16? We'll be giving you guys our updated tournament predictions here today. And so with that, let's get started with the East region. We got UConn and San Diego State, two teams that had dominant wins in the second round. UConn took care of Northwestern, no problem, and Yale. Uh, just came out flat against San Diego State. So here's a rematch of last year's national championship game. And in the end, I just don't see any reason to bet against UConn right now. Just the way they're playing right now. I mean, they're the clear favorite to win this tournament. And for a reason, I got them to advance on. Then he got Illinois and Iowa State. This is a Final Four caliber game in the Sweet 16. Two teams that are red hot right now winners of their respective conference tournaments on big winning streaks as well two teams playing at a very high level i'm going illinois though here this is really one that could go either way uh, but what it really came down to for me in the end was just i mean illinois this team you got terrence shannon who's averaging 23 points a game and he is on fire right now so i'm going with the illini uh, to beat iowa state and then you got uconn and illinois in the elite eight this is a matchup where I mean, if anyone's going to be UConn right now, it would be either Iowa State or Illinois. I really think that, yeah, but I do want to go with UConn in the end to knock off the Illini if this matchup were to happen. Once again, it's just so tough uh, to bet against the Huskies as of right now. So your West region, we got North Carolina, Alabama. These games are in Los Angeles, and this game is bound to be a shootout. This is going to be a high-scoring game here. Two fast-paced teams, two incredible offenses. I am going with the Tar Heels, though. To knock off Alabama that this is really one of those matchups that could go either way I think Alabama is very much on a level right now where they could be North Carolina I mean they put up what 109 on Charleston they weren't quite as impressive against Grand Canyon although the Lopers put up a pretty good fight there regardless I'm going Tar Heels though with a slight advantage um, and another thing too is I mean I would predict more upsets this probably would be an upset but this has been overall a pretty chalky tournament in comparison to years past you know, so that is something to consider and then you got arizona and clemson clemson has proven everyone wrong everyone expected them to lose to new mexico in the first round and then they beat them and then they dominate baylor for the most part really impressive run so far for clemson uh, but arizona something about this team they had that huge disappointment last year losing to princeton in the first round but I feel like this is the tournament that Arizona's finally going to, they're going to break through and make a run. I do think they beat Clemson and uh, get to the lead eight. That's the thing about Arizona is when they're hitting their shots, they're borderline unstoppable. I mean, they've hit their shots so far in this tournament. I don't see why they can't against Clemson and face off against North Carolina, which this would also be a high scoring, incredible matchup if it were to happen. I mean, this West region, you got North Carolina, Alabama, Arizona, three of the best offenses in the country in the same region. And if this were to happen, I do want to favor the Wildcats to take down North Carolina. I mean, this is so close if it were to happen. I think Arizona also with the location. This is uh, this region is in LA. You got three teams from the east. Otherwise, I think Arizona is going to have an advantage there. I take them uh, to move to the final four. So then your south region, you got Houston and Duke. Uh, Houston barely survived there against Texas A&M. That was an insane finish. They were up 12 with, what, two minutes to go. Texas A&M forces it into overtime. And it uh, looked like, honestly, Houston was going to lose that, but they survived. And I said this in my first predictions on Selection Sunday. If, they, if Houston can get past Texas A&M in the second round or whoever in the second round, they should get to the Final Four. And I do think they at least beat Duke. I think the physicality of Houston is their advantage there, um, even though Duke is red hot right now. They beat Vermont and James Madison no problem, especially the James Madison win. I honestly, uh, that kind of surprised me how dominant of a win that was with uh, James Madison coming off of that huge win over Wisconsin. But I do think Houston, though, is the better. They're just simply the better team there. I'm taking them to beat Duke. And then NC State and Marquette. Give me NC State to uh, Knock off Marquette. What a run the Wolfpack have had. Uh, winning seven straight, won five straight to even get into uh, the March Madness tournament. And they've already won twice. 
in this tournament, and I do think they knock off Marquette as well. Marquette's playing really well, though, right now, too. This, I mean, it's, it is tough, but NC State's momentum right now, it's tough for me to go against that. So then that sets up Houston and NC State in the Elite Eight. You got the 11 seed uh, making a deep run, but I think this is where it ends for NC State. Give me Houston to uh, head on to the Final Four. I feel like this is Houston's season to uh, get back to the Final Four. And I mean, I like their odds to win it, honestly. They're a stacked team all around, and that defense is brutal. Your Midwest region, Purdue and Gonzaga. Purdue finally. I mean, a team that's just had heartbreaker after heartbreaker in March Madness the past few years, but this really feels like it could be the year for them. They uh, beat up Grambling, then just beat up Utah State, uh, and it wasn't even close, and Utah State is not a bad team. So Purdue at this point, they're taking on, they're red hot, taking on a Red Hawk and Zaga team uh, who just beat up Kansas. I mean, this is tough because you got two teams. I mean, if you're in the Sweet 16, you're obviously playing at a really high level. Uh, but in the end, I think Purdue's ceiling is higher than Gonzaga's. And really for Purdue, they're the better team in this situation. It's just a matter of whether or not they just uh, they don't choke or not. That's pretty much all it is. And I do think Purdue is going to beat Gonzaga. I feel like this, it feels like this is their year to finally make a deep run. And uh, I'd be surprised if they lost to Gonzaga, even though uh, Gonzaga is playing at a high level. That is not a team to overlook. Then you got Creighton and Tennessee on the other side, two teams that are coming off of really hard fought wins. Tennessee beat Texas in a close one, and then Creighton beat Oregon in double overtime. That game went into two OT, and Creighton ended up beating Oregon by 13. They ended up really being dominant in that second overtime. I think they ride that momentum into this Tennessee matchup and do beat the Vols. I mean, that's gonna be a really close matchup that could totally go either way, but I do like Crane's experience and their momentum to win that matchup. So that sets up Purdue and Crane in the Elite Eight. This is, I mean, Purdue is a team that is built to make it to the Final Four. They're built to win a national championship. It's just a matter of can they keep winning games in the tournament? That's, I mean, they hardly have made it out of the first weekend in recent times. So, I mean, for Purdue and Crane, two teams that are red hot heading into this matchup, I do want to go with Purdue. I still feel like, I mean, based on the way they played in the first couple of rounds, I think Purdue is going to be a force to stop in this Midwest region, and I got them onto the Final Four. So that sets up three one seeds and a two seed in the Final Four. It sounds uh, pretty chalky, but it really would make sense. This has overall been a pretty chalky tournament. Um, we've seen a few upsets, but nothing too significant. Not many uh, high seeds heading into the Sweet 16 right now. So this would make sense if it were to happen. I also think there's a pretty distinct gap between uh, the top six or seven teams in the country and the rest of them as of right now. So you got UConn and Arizona in the first matchup. Arizona, red hot offensive team, and UConn a team that's just dominant all the round defending champions. I just have to go with UConn here. Arizona is a really solid team, but the Huskies and the way they looked in the first couple of rounds, I really think that they are built for a deep run in this tournament. Then you got Houston and Purdue. Purdue and Zach Eady finally uh, make a deep run, get to the Final Four. They can definitely win a national championship this season. Uh, but in the end, Houston and that defense, that's where it comes to an end for Purdue. And Houston gets to a championship. And it's that defense. And it's, I mean, Houston's a very physical, tough team. And I do think that they get to a championship to face off against UConn. If this were to happen, if it were to be UConn-Houston, this actually would be a toss-up in my mind. I really think that Houston could beat UConn, but I still can't bet against the Huskies. I'm going with UConn as my champion still. Nothing's going to change there. They are the best team in this tournament. They're the most complete team. Could they get upset over the next couple of rounds or even before they even get to the championship? It's a possibility, but based on the way this tournament has gone so far, I do still want to go with UConn to win it all. But let me know your thoughts in the comments below on this bracket. Who do you think wins the title? Uh, is it UConn or do you have some other team winning the title? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And with that, appreciate you guys watching as always. My name is Evan, this is All Sports Central. Stay tuned for more. We'll catch you on the next one.